Hello everyone, welcome back to this video on digital communication. In this video, I am going to talk about the optimum filter or which we also call the optimum receiver. I have already talked about the integrator and dumb filter in my previous video. So it's the advanced form. So now we are talking all these things in the performance analysis of the digital communication system. So the structure of optimum filter So the input is XT plus NT, we are seeing the performance in the presence of noise. So XT plus NT is the input, we are taking two inputs X1T and X2T. So YT would be the output. So YT would be X, X01T plus NT for X1T input and YT is equal to X02T plus NT for input X2T. So now we have two output X01 plus N and X02 plus N. So now how this optimum filter is working. When we don't have noise, it detects the correct output. So that's obvious. Obviously it will detect the correct output. There would be no noise, there would be no error. But when the noise is present, so that time it checks the output value X01T. So now if X01T plus NT, so here the noise is present. So if it is close to X1T, it will say it is X1T. And if it is close to X2T, it will say it is X2T. So now it will see that the output X01T or X02T. So it is valid for X02T as well. So now when both of them or any of them is closer to X1T, then output would be X1T. It will decide that the input was X1T. But when it is closer, the output value is closer to the X2T, it will decide that input was X2T. So now what is happening? It is checking the output value when the noise is added. But when the amplitude of noise would be much greater, then that time errors would be there. So decision boundary in this, in this case would be x1 plus x2 by 2. So this is my decision boundary. After this decision boundary, it will take X2 and before this decision boundary, it will take X1. I hope you understood up to this, this point. So now if I have to see that error is there, so probability of error would be X1 plus X2T upon 2 minus x2t so now if the error would be there so it changes and it goes from x1t to x2t so if i sent x1 but it is now closer to x2 that time error would be there so it is closer to x2 then it will say x2 was sent but actually x1 was sent so decision boundary minus x2t so x should be greater than this so now I need to find out the probability of x is greater than equal to x1t minus x2t upon 2. So now I need to find out this probability. Again I know the noise is Gaussian noise with the mean 0 fx n naught t would be equal to 1 upon sigma under root 2 pi e raised to power minus n naught t square upon 2 sigma square. So this is my fx. So if I need to find out this probability, so this is equal to the CDF. So I'll integrate probability of error would be from x1t minus x2t to 2 up to x up to infinity. So now what is happening? If I draw it, so now I have these two boundaries. After this boundary, 
there would be error and the center point would be x1 t plus x2 t upon 2 so now if it deviates after this point also there would be error so i need to find out this shaded portion so this shaded portion and this shaded portion would be equal so if i am finding out this shaded portion x1 t minus x2 t upon 2 to infinity so So now what will I do? I'll just put this equal to y square. So L naught square t upon 2 sigma square is equal to y square. So now d of which implies y is equal to N naught t upon under root 2 sigma. So now dy So now I know dy is equal to dn naught t upon under root 2 sigma. So dn naught t would be this 2 sigma would go this side and multiply. So now I need to find out upper limit and lower limit. So when dn naught t is equal to infinity, so when this is infinity, y would be infinity. So now putting the value of n naught t is equal to x1 t minus x2 t upon 2. Now putting it in the value of y. So y would be. So y would be this. So now the new limits are. So now probability of error would be I put the new limits. So the new limits would be this x1 t minus x2 t upon 2 under root 2 sigma to infinity 1 upon sigma root 2 pi. Now this term was y, y square. So e raised to power minus y square and dn naught was under root 2 sigma dy. So under root 2 sigma under root 2 sigma will get cancelled out and now I am left out with I am taking under root pi outside. So now I can multiply and divide with 2. So now I know the integration of this so it is ERFC so it would be probability of error would be ER 1 by 2 error function the lower limit so lower limit is x1 t minus x2 t upon 2 root 2 sigma so now this is my new probability of error so I hope you understood the error function is a decreasing function. So if I increase the difference, the error function would decrease. So if the numerator is greater, the, greater, if I am increasing the numerator, the error function would decrease. So numerator would increase when x1 t minus x2 t would increase. So at that time my error function would decrease and the probability of error would decrease. So this was all about the probability of error of optimal filter. So I hope you understood everything about this video. If still you have any doubt you can put your doubt in the comment box and I'll try to resolve it as soon as possible. I hope you like this video. If you like it share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel and push the like button. Thank you.